Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Ray-Ban RB2184 sunglasses. So first off, let's go ahead and pop these on face and talk about the dimensions. These sunglasses have 57 millimeter lenses and an 18 millimeter bridge, and I have been getting a ton of requests to review this exact pair of sunglasses because a lot of people believed it to be an acetate version of the original Ray-Ban Wayfair, and that actually really isn't the case here. It is a completely different pair of sunglasses uh, totally than the new Wayfarers. So first off, let's go ahead and talk about the styling of these frames and how they differ compared to the Ray-Ban new Wayfair. So as you can see here, they have much taller lenses than the standard size of the Ray-Ban new Wayfair. And then if we take a look here at the edges, we can see they're much more smooth on the 2184 than they are here on the Ray-Ban uh, new Wayfair. So let me go ahead and pop on the Ray-Ban new Wayfair here and show you how they do look completely different different on the face than the Ray-Ban RB2184. So let me go ahead and give you guys a quick little uh, 180 of the new Wayfair on my face. And now let's go ahead and pop on the 2184 sunglasses and give you guys a 180 of these. And you guys can definitely tell they are a different pair of sunglasses. Now the other huge distinction here, other than a couple other small things, is the fact that the 2184 actually have a keyhole style bridge. So here we can see on the bridge, we have that iconic keyhole style, and of course, on the original Wayfair or the new Wayfair, that keyhole style bridge is missing. So definitely a completely different pair of sunglasses, but I kind of understand why people think that it is an all acetate version of the original Wayfair, because online, they do look very similar. So of course, like every pair of authentic Ray-Ban sunglasses, these have a painted Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the frames. And then if we also take a look at the middle of the frames, we can see an etched RB logo there for authentication purposes. Now these frames do have iconic metal accents here in the top corners of the sunglasses, which definitely make them resemble the Ray-Ban Wayfair. And then moving down the temples, we can also see these Ray-Ban logos. But what's really interesting about the Ray-Ban logos here in the outside temple of sunglasses is they're actually embedded underneath the acetate of these sunglasses. So if the new Wayfair, it is attached to the hinge and it's raised up a little bit from the uh, temple of the sunglasses. However, on these, it actually has a really clean design where they put the Ray-Ban logo underneath the acetate. I think that's a really cool, you know, little styling element. And Ray-Ban did a really good job with the execution of that with this pair of sunglasses. Now, because these frames are made out of acetate, we can see a metal rod that runs all the way down from the hinge to the e -rest, and you can heat these frames up and give them a custom fit to your face, which also is really nice. Now, the exact coreway here here is Ray-Ban's glossed striped gray brown gradient frames. So we can see here most of the frames are Ray-Ban striped gray frames and then here at the bottom they have their brown gradient material which looks absolutely gorgeous and it's all acetate and I really do love the look of these frames. And Ray-Ban seamlessly blended uh, the two different acetate materials because these frames came from one block of acetate so that is really cool. Now, as far as the lenses go here, these have Ray-Ban's gray gradient lenses. So they're darker here up the top than they are here at the bottom, which definitely adds a really cool look to these frames. And the lenses here are plastic lenses made out of a polymer material. So the quality isn't going to be quite as good as all glass lenses. And they're also not going to have the scratch resistance as all glass lenses do. So that's definitely disappointing, but they're of course going to block 100% of UVA and UVB rays, which is the most important thing when buying a pair of sunglasses. Now, unfortunately, these sunglasses are made in China and they say here in the inner right temple of the frames, they just say Ray-Ban made in China and these do cost $200. So paying $200 for something that's made in China is definitely quite steep. Now, as far as build quality goes, unfortunately, these are made in China, like I said, and the build quality once again is worse on these than it would be if they were made in Italy. So for example, here, right at the base of the hinge, we can see that there is this unpolished material, which just looks absolutely horrible. There's just a severe lack of attention to detail with frames coming out of China. And that's really what I've been seeing lately is that just complete lack of attention to detail. And then also here at the hinge itself, we can see there are some really uh, small cracks in the plastic where they kind of force the hinge into the acetate. So that definitely looks, you know, kind of cheap there. And then of course, the addition of the spring hinge here versus a traditional hinge. You can actually hear it squeaking a little bit. 
when opening up the temples, which definitely, again, feels very cheap and doesn't feel like it's worth $200 at all. So overall, I am definitely disappointed with this pair of sunglasses. I absolutely love the look of these frames. The acetate is absolutely gorgeous, but it's just a real disappointment that these frames are made in China. And because of that, the build quality is definitely worse than all the Italian Ray-Bans that I have reviewed. I occasionally get some comments that are saying, oh, you just hate it because it's made in China. No, Chinese Ray-Ban sunglasses are made cheaper than the Italian ones. It is plain and simple. I don't care what Luxottica says, and I don't care what Ray-Ban says. From all the sunglasses that I have reviewed, the Chinese ones are definitely a lot cheaper than the ones made in Italy. It's clear as day the difference as far as the actual build quality goes. Now, I bought these frames directly from their website to make this review over. So this pair of sunglasses, even though they are cheaper, and even though they have this blatant error here where they just didn't finish polishing the frames, still pass past Ray-Ban's quality control uh, for this pair of sunglasses, where this would never pass a Ray-Ban's Italian quality control in my opinion. So overall, like I said, I am definitely disappointed with this pair of sunglasses and $200 is way too much money to be paying for this pair of sunglasses. However, I actually picked it up directly from their website for only, I believe, $120 because Ray-Ban was doing a huge sale on this specific pair of sunglasses and they weren't doing a sale on their new Wayfair sunglasses glasses. Probably because this pair of sunglasses is going to be discontinued pretty soon because of the abysmal build quality. So that's just my thoughts there. I definitely could be wrong, but overall, I think Ray-Ban really failed with this pair of sunglasses. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video regardless. Hopefully it kind of helped you learn about uh, Ray-Ban's Chinese sunglasses as of lately. And uh, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video, just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.